Hello and welcome to I Am Organic Gardening. My name is Mark. I'm located in the state of New Jersey in Zone 6B. And today, with this sample of a worm, which is a cardboard tube sitting in front of you, I'm going to look inside a worm and show you how worm castings are so beneficial to your soil and they actually deliver an extra present that you might not have known about besides worm castings that is so magnificent how nature works that I hope you watch the whole video and understand how worms are just so beneficial to our soil in so many ways. So one thing that we know about worms when we have them in our gardens or our compost pile or in our uh, homemade worm bins to get worm castings, we know when the worm digests that product of organic matter, no matter what it is, it comes out nutrient available to our plants. But why does this happen? And I've been researching, and it's very interesting how it all falls into place, and it's the same process that's in our soil. So we have proof that whatever happens inside our worm is also the same system or the same function that's in our soil. So how beautiful is nature when we have this working so well for us? So over here, we'll say is our worm's mouth, where you see my little eye and my little smiley face on that worm. Now, when that worm takes in food and delivers it through the digestive system, let's open it up and see what's inside that is doing this. Now, inside our worm, in our digestive tract of the whole worm, is something very special going on. And it's so familiar and same process that's in our soil, that's doing it free of charge, giving it nutrients to our plants. So again, you might have seen these pictures in my last video, but number one, we start with bacteria. Inside the worm is beneficial bacteria that's in our soil, but it's also living inside our worm. So we have that going on. Also inside our worm is that we have our soil fungi. Again, just like our soil, that's also going on. And they're living inside this digestive tract. But now the amazing part that comes across, oh, this is good too. And I didn't know this until about maybe a month ago, that we have inside living, eating these two guys, is our protozoa again, like that's in our soil. So that's another amazing thing that's going on. But that's not it. Next thing we have living inside our worm is protozoa. Another amazing thing. Now, I've said amazing too many times, but it is truly amazing. Because this is the delivery system of giving your plants nutrients, just like in your soil, all the time, free of charge. Now, the best thing is this worm moves along and then you know what comes out the other end is worm castings. And what those worm castings do, they have these beneficial microbes that are starting here, eating through, and then those are being eaten by the nematodes and protozoas. And then when the worm castings come out, some of them are still living, and that's how you get a soil food web working in your soil and nutrients believe being delivered free of charge all the time. Now that I think is something that we should just sit back and say, hey, welcome worms, do your job, and things are gonna do better for our soil in the long run and always get better. And now if you don't have worms in your area, um, there's other things that are doing the same process as the worms. I don't know what covers the rest of the planet, but it all falls into the same category. There might be some other little small animal, like an arthropod or um, whatever, uh, something else too that might be living in your soil that's doing the same thing as other things. Now, only worms do this, and also rabbits have the ability to do this also. I don't know if the same organisms are living in it, and that's what I'm gonna find out later on. Hopefully do some more research and understanding things. But with this just going on, this simple process of a worm and what's inside it, we get free nutrients all the time with an extra beneficial process 
that is going to deliver us, us the microbes that are going to live in our soil so when our plant starts growing and flourishing and growing green leaves and putting out exudates that basically those exudates are going to be feeding these microbes that are left behind the worms. Plus, now when that worm goes through our soil, we know it opens up holes and lets in more water and everything is doing fantastic in your garden. But also too, it's spreading around this famous mycorrhizal fungi spores that stick to the side of the body of the worm and moves it from, let's say, four feet away to closer to your plant. So those plants, in time, your soil will build and you'll get such beneficial things going on in your soil from just worms passing through. And as you know, in the back eating method or leaf mold or any kind of uh, uh, mulch on top of the surface of your soil, those worms love to create new homes and new channels in your soil and be helpful to you all the time free of charge. So those are, I just fixed the bottom row. I had the uh, fungi sign upside down so you couldn't read it. But just know that nature is going to help you and be more beneficial to you than you can imagine in your garden this spring if just processes are left alone without digging or tilling or adding too much other uh, amendments. These creatures, these beautiful worms, will take care of themselves all by their own in the ground. Now, uh, a lot of people are going to ask me, you know, should I buy worms and put them in my soil? That choice is up to you. But also starting a worm bin inside your home or outside this summer is going to be more beneficial to you than actually putting them in the soil. So start a little, like, little five gallon bucket outside and you got to keep it in the shade. They don't like heat or you can actually bury it in the ground halfway or three quarters of the way to keep it cool. And just start your own worm castings and things will work great because now you have those beneficial microbes that you always thought that you couldn't get in your soil by just delivering them out of the bucket, take the worm castings, and you don't even have to sift them out. You can just take a handful of the material in there, take the worms out, and just take that handful of material put in your garden. Inside that handful of material might be not decomposed process already, but there's going to be at least 10, 20, 30 percent of those microbes inside that handful in your soil that you can deliver back to your garden to start that process all over again and have healthy soil so that healthy soil can give you nutrient-dense vegetables. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm fantastic that it's all amazing, that it sits here and does it all by itself free. And now we know inside our digestive tract, from left to right, that we get such a good product from those worms that will re-flourish our soil once again, not so much giving it nutrients, but the microbes are the key in the soil to, give the, to take the other organic matter and other material out of there so you can get those nutrients back in your soil via the soil food web and also the worm's digestive system. And I thank you for watching. You guys are fantastic. Please like and share. It helps out my channel immensely. And until the next time, have a great day, and I'll see you again shortly. Thanks.